Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Jaden, and so I've been seeing a lot of trends lately on YouTube of what's in my bag. So what's in my makeup bag, school bag, uh, sports bag, camera bag. You know, you get the point. You've probably seen a lot of them yourself scrolling through and you recommend it and stuff like that. So today I thought I would follow that trend and I would do a... Hold on one second. I thought I'd do a what's in my sports bag, what's in my soccer bag, really, because that's the sport that I play. So, yeah, how about we get straight into it? So starting off with the actual bag that I use, I believe it's called the Nike Team Air Max bag. Uh, it's pretty old. It's from at least seven years ago or something like that. Uh, but it's great. It gets the job done. It has multiple different pockets for different things, which I'll kind of show you guys now. So over here on this side right here, we have a, it's more of a boot pocket that I never really use. So it's a spot where you can kind of stick your shoes in here. It's got a big space made for that. But the reason that I don't really use that is because it takes up spots on the main uh, pocket, the main one. So if we just open up the top here, you'll see that we've got the inside here and this is that kind of boot bag bit that if you actually fill up, it kind of takes up half of the inside of the bag. So I don't really like to use it. I kind of just push it off to the side and use the full interior. Now inside we do have this little Velcro tab up here so you can kind of pull it off and put different stuff in there. I never really use it. Sometimes I will use it to stash Panadol or um, Nurofen and stuff like that in there that I like to take after my games just because I get headaches and stuff like that. But other than that, I normally use this pocket here on the side, which goes along the length of the bag, and it's just another pocket where I normally store my phone and my wallet and my keys and stuff while I'm playing in a game. <laughs> so up next we have compression or Under Armour, whatever you want to call it. My particular brand, as you can probably see here already, is skins i can't really get that to show for you guys is skins so i've got a lot of products here as you can see um for instance things that i have here this one's inside out of course because that's how all my clothes go uh this one here is just a t-shirt base one a short sleeve uh compression top which is really good and really great when i play during kind of hotter days so that's that uh, I've got, this is more for training, and what I'm going to be using later on in the video is a pair of long, like, pant versions, I guess. Um, so yeah, that one's really great. I've got a long sleeve top here as well. Basically the same as the short sleeve, but this one is got long sleeves instead. And then here I have three different pairs. This one's my oldest, I've had it for ages, but because it stretches, obviously... I've been able to keep wearing it. So I've got a black pair here of, they're called half tights, so they're basically shorts. Um, so I've got that pair. I also have a red pair here that is also inside out. I probably should have turned all these in the right way before doing this, but anyway. So here is a red pair. And then over here is my latest pair, which I only got recently, and it is a navy blue pair. So yeah, that's my compression, what I wear under while I'm training, while I'm playing. And yeah, I'd really recommend getting some of this if you guys are playing a like any sport really, or even just doing running or something like that. It really helps. So the idea for all this compression stuff is that it kind of compresses down your muscle and it helps to maintain blood flow, which increases kind of your revivability, I guess. That's kind of the wor wrong word to use, but it uh, basically gets the blood flowing and makes you be able to kind of recover faster. That's the word that I'm looking for, not revivability. But yeah, so I'd really recommend getting some if you guys have uh, the money to spare or if you play any sport really at all. So yeah, that's compression. So next up here we have socks. There are two different socks that I use uh, really for playing and training. So the first of is my team socks. So basically these ones are just regular sports socks. 
sorry, car driving past. So the first type of sock that I really wear is the team sock. This is basically just your regular sports sock. This is my team's uh, particular sock that I have. And what I've done is I've cut the bottoms off. So basically I cut what would be an ankle sock kind of off this. And underneath them, I wear these, which are true socks, which I'll go more in depth in later. So these are really great for helping slippage and stuff in your boot. And I really recommend them, even though they're a bit pricey. I will link a lot of the stuff that I am showing in this video in the description below if you guys want to check it out yourself. So next up we've got two items but they kind of go hand in hand together. So first up we have the shin guards that I use which are the Nike J guards. They're just a really cheap pair but they're small and they get the job done really really well. Uh, there goes my cat. And then the item that goes hand in hand with those are these Nike shin guard stays. Basically they're just velcro straps that go around your ankle and hold up your shin guards just like that basically. So these guys are really good because I'm using my true socks as well which I'll be able to show you guys how I kind of put all this stuff on later on in the video. So the next piece of kit that I keep in my bags are these gloves. Now I've got two different types of pairs that I use in here. So first of all is just kind of this regular running pair, which is the pair that I use the most. Uh, it doesn't have any grip or anything on it at all. It's just a regular Nike pair of kind of running gloves. It is a dry fit pair, as you guys might be able to see there. I can't really read that, but it says just here on this tab here that it is a dry fit pair. Next up we have these which I believe are called the Vapor Jet Gloves. They're actually for NFL but these are really good for throwing in the ball on kind of wet days because it has this grippy stuff here, all of the padding on the palm of your hand here, all up your fingers and stuff like that is actually well gripped. So uh, I really like wearing these because it does get cold here and it does rain a lot, so gloves are really good to go along with the long sleeve compression top that I will wear under my kit while I play and train. So next up is clothing. So what I have down here is I have a training singlet, which I have multiple different versions of. This is just the one that I've been wearing lately just because I like the design of it. Uh, it's my team's one, and then I also have two different pairs of shorts as well. This pair here is what I play in. It matches the socks that I wore. That's my team's shorts. This is an older pair of my team's shorts here. Go. And then underneath here, I have a jacket for when it is raining and... Uh, colder at training, so it's just a long sleeve kind of spray jacket here that also has my team's logo and stuff on that, like that, on it. Okay, so we're almost done with everything that I pack into my bag, but coming in next is a ball. I don't actually pack this in my bag, I just carry it around. It's just a regular Nike training ball. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty old, a bit scuffed up. This one I've pumped up really hard. Uh, but yeah, it's just a regular ball. I would love to get the Telstar, but because it's so expensive, I just have been holding off and I've been using this one instead. So to go along with that, I also just have a regular Nike pump here that I use to pump up the ball. And then my last little bit of equipment that I use is these. So you're probably asking, what are these? If that wants to focus in at all, there we go. These are blister pads. These things are great. I'll just get one out real quick for you here. So they're basically these. Uh, they're little pads that you peel off the back and then you stick on the back of your heel to prevent blisters. Now, if you guys have ever used, uh, hold on one second, I'll grab it real quick. If you guys have ever used a Superfly 4 or I've heard the Superfly 5 had the same problem. Basically any dynamic fit collar boot, uh, if you don't know what that is, that's this little sock attachment here on a boot. Basically if you've ever used one of these boots and you're trying to break in a new pair, these things are great and will get the job done so much better than just having blisters forever, uh, which I seem to have in my 2014 season when these things were all the rage. Okay, so that's pretty much all the equipment. We are missing one thing that you guys probably know that I was just holding up, which is my boots. Now, I have several different pairs of boots, and I'm going to actually go into more of them once we hit the actual pitch. 
just so you guys can actually see what I've been wearing lately and why I wear what I wear. But before we hit the pitch, I've got to change into some of the stuff that I was showing you guys so that we can actually go and have a bit of fun and not run around in just regular clothes. So let's get straight into that. Alright, so there we go. We're all changed now. We've got all our gear on. Now we're just going to pack the bag, get a drink bottle, fill it up with some water, and then we're going to head down to the pitch and actually you know, mess around with the gear and kind of go more in depth on some of it. So let's get straight into that. Now so that I don't spoil what boots I'm going to be wearing, I'm going to do that off camera so that you guys can have a bit of a surprise when we actually get down to the field. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Not dead yet, true shit. So why do I worry about what I can see? I was racing by my. Alright, so we're here. Sorry about the sunlight. It's just really bright out today. Okay, so I'm editing this now and I just want you guys to know that I didn't actually know about the kind of aperture thing to kind of close out the light that's entering the lens until a couple scenes after this one. So just bear with me on the kind of brightness that's going on on the screen right now. I'm learning as I go. This is my first video. You know, things happen. So please just bear with me for now as I learn things. It's probably going to take me a little while to learn these things. But yeah, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. The ground's a bit muddy too, so... But hopefully we can get some good shots and stuff here today. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Hey, it's me again. I just wanted to quickly chime in again and say that I know I'm shit and yeah, so please don't be typing away in the comments saying how shit I am at this sport. I like to think I'm good, but I know I'm not. I like to kind of try and do stuff and I fail at it, uh, but you know, I, it's all about the fun. So just, just give me a little break in the comments. I know I'm shit. All right, back to the video. All right, so the ground's really wet, so I don't want to stay here for too long, but I'm just going to show you what boots I'll be rocking to start off with here, but we're just going to take my normal Vans off and switch my socks over. I'm just wearing normal black Nike socks at the moment. Sorry again about the sun. It's like midday here, so the sun's blaring. Got my tripod here as well. Um, so, it's gonna bring our bag over here. So the first pair of boots that we're going to be wearing today are the very dirty and old Superfly 4s. You can't really see that. I'm going to shove some B-roll of these boots now. Alright, so since it's really sunny here, I'm going to take off this jacket and then I'm going to sit the camera down on the tripod and I'm going to go and do a lap around the field just to warm up and hopefully I don't die.
All right, so the sun is pointing at me from behind the camera, so that's why I'm kind of squinting a little and the shadows are all weird on my face. I just finished my warm-up, uh, stuff that you guys didn't really need to see, so I didn't film it or anything. Plus, there was also some weird, like, groundskeeper guys walking around, and yeah. But anyway, so now we're just going to go and kind of run around a bit on the pitch. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see the pitch and just going to kind of mess around with some skills and stuff and see what we can do and then I might switch my boots over and take some shots then yeah we'll see how everything goes Alright, so I'm finished messing around, uh, getting a bit sweaty because it's so hot and I've got these skins on, but it is actually helping my fitness out a lot. So now I'm going to change my boots over because I'm having a little problems with these. I'm going to explain those while I'm switching, and then we're going to set up for some shots. Alright, so I'm going to be switching out of these Superfly 4s into the Superfly 6s. Another pair of boots that I do want to kind of try out, but I might wait for another video, is these old Superfly 2s that I picked up recently. So if you guys want to see a separate video on the Superfly 2s, let me know. I'm really interested in trying them out, I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. But let's switch over to these boots, because these boots are starting to give me blisters, like I explained earlier in the video. So let's switch them out, and yeah. So just while not walking over to these goals, i uh, noticed that these boots down here are so much more comfortable walking and just in every aspect so far. I've worn these a bit in game and I have actually noticed, but it's not until I go back to the Superfly 4s and come over to the Superfly 6s that I actually notice a really big difference. I don't know if you guys can see, but all the way up over there, there are some kids playing some football. So that's always nice to see other kids out and about playing. But yeah, so we're going to sit up, sit up, we're going to set up this next kind of camera shot and we're going to take some shots. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so it was around this point in the video where I went to shoot me taking shots, which I thought I recorded half an hour's worth, which I guess I did. The camera just kind of didn't really want to convert it into an actual file. So there's a file on the SD card, but it is zero bytes in size. And yeah, so there's just no footage of it. I'm really sorry again, it's my first video. I'm only rolling with one SD card, so I'm just starting out, you know. Uh, so sorry, no shots. I did record this two second clip of nothing. So before we jump back into the actual content of this video, which is basically just the end of it, uh, I did say after I took the shots that I was going to take a, a long shot from halfway before we finished and packed up. So that's kind of what I'm talking about at the start of this next clip. So let's move back on with the video. All right, so we're back home now. Uh, the camera unfortunately died just as I was about to go and take that long shot. So there's no footage of that. 
uh, unfortunately. So what I did manage to do was I went and grabbed my phone and I went and shot some quick little shots of B-roll with my phone. So hopefully they look all right. Uh, it should be. It's still 1080p 60 for the B-roll. Sorry, my hair looks all weird. Like I said, I have shower. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our stuff and put it in the wash and grab some food and then that'll be it. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I went and got some food. This kind of contradicts everything that I just went and did because I am, in fact, having some pizza, as you can see down here. Uh, and then I'm about to go and edit what I just shot. I'm not sure if it was any good. I'm not sure if the shots that I got were any good, if it's going to edit together well or anything. This is my first video, so I'm really not sure. Um, but. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If there's any other types of videos that you would like to see on this channel or from me, then definitely put your ideas in the comment section below. I've got other, like, some other ideas that I'd like to do. But uh, if you guys did enjoy, like and favorite. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at the link below as well if you want to get in contact, want to talk, want to give me your ideas. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.